James Bond, I love, um... What did I physically do? Yeah, I, like, okay, while I, you were at your institution. I spent hours and hours playing. I am here, uh, my name is Mike Garak, and those of you who might have that, I'm the principal of Amps Charter School. Welcome, everybody, to our senior night, 2019, celebrate our Purple Rain class, uh, the Purple class. I have known these students since they were in sixth grade. Those who started out in sixth grade, seventh grade, for nine. A wonderful class. A lot of enthusiasm. A lot of enthusiasm. And I just want to thank this class and even our, our prior senior classes. I was talking to Ms. Murphy, Ms. Lindsay, Dr. Lewis, and I'm just honored to be working at a school where the seniors ask the administration about their senior prank. They ask if they can if they can hold their senior prank. They uh, they they run it in a proposal form. Most schools do not do that. So we really appreciate that. It's a great thing. Uh, very polite, very polite by giving us a heads up on everything that they're looking to do. They respond very well. We have to make some revisions and then we're not too many complaints. So uh, wonderful, wonderful class. Uh, but no, I've known these students for seven years. Uh, like I said, very enthusiastic, very close-knit, and I knew that from the very beginning. Uh, I don't want to say too much because I'm giving the graduation welcome speech as well. But I will say, um, I knew from I knew from day one when I was a team of students, and this is going to sound negative, but stay with me. I used to run the lunch detentions over at um, the lower school, the lower school students do lunch detentions, and students, did, for very minor, minor violations, uh, and there were always, this grade, I just remember, a bunch of violations for talking to their friends during class, chatting during class, and, uh, you know, they come to the lunch detention, they either be silent, uh, and they do their thing, and serve their consequences for 20 minutes or so, but it really spoke to me in an odd way. I said, they're really tight-knit, like, these students really do, enjoy being around each other. Uh, so that may sound kind of awkward, but I, I sensed it from day one. Uh, so it's been nothing but a pleasure uh, seeing you here at Show tonight. I appreciate everything you, you all have done. We're here tonight to honor you and the great things that you've done here during your time. So thank you for seeing you. Welcome to the families, the staff, all of you who come here. This is a team effort, a collaborative effort. AMSA is not an easy place to go through. It is challenging. We have high standards. We have high expectations. Our seniors have met that. And we are here to celebrate those uh, who have stuck out in particular subject areas. Uh, we have the capstone project surrounding us, students who put in extra effort above and beyond uh, to, to hone in on their craft and to really celebrate something that they love to do. So, Great to be here tonight. Welcome, everybody. And we're going to get this kicked off. I'm going to actually introduce the student government president, Miriam Machado. But I 
would never have expected the incredible opportunities I would find, mentors I would meet, and friendships I would make. Our class, the class of 2019, has been one of the best parts of my life. You see, I, I took a glance at an old yearbook while writing this speech, and now, looking out on all of you, I can see how much we've all grown, both personally and together as a grade. And let me tell you, we have made it. We've made it through tough classes and sleepless nights, administration changes and shifting environments, color wars, and one hilariously embarrassing class video. We've made it through AP tests and college applications, senior skip days and senior pranks, and now the end, the pinnacle of our time here is in sight. We have been guided by the most compassionate and thoughtful teachers, supported by the best administration the school has ever seen, and held up through all of it. Our success thus far is dedicated to those around us, and our futures, wherever they may be, were begun here. We're all going to be leaving Alder soon, whether it's as far as London or California, or as close as Boston and Worcester. There are going to be 119 of us making our marks on the world. I know I'm biased, but we are one of the most supportive, diverse, and passionate grades to walk through in this hallways. And I feel so, so lucky to have worked alongside you for all this long. And just like that first day in middle school, as we move towards graduation and we will be starting a new chapter in our lives, I mean, I'm sure we'll all definitely miss the polo shirts and the other weird little perks that made Ansa so special. But in all seriousness, I cannot imagine a better group of people to have grown up alongside. And as we walk out the door one last time, I'm so happy we will be walking together. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We are now going to view the Class of 2019 senior videos. Oh, oh. 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 oh.
Now, class of 2019, we have something special for you from all the teachers who sat the hands of the memory, all the achievements that you've made, everything that you've done for the school, for us, and we hope that you will distribute to the class of 2019.
or Special Forces Operator. Jonathan, congratulations. Seniors who put tireless hours and nights 
after school hours, kids to these clubs. We'd like to recognize uh, your efforts throughout the years, and we're going to invite your club advisors to come up and just say a few words. So when your name is called for your club, all right, you may stand and be recognized. So first, I'd like to welcome Ms. Jessica Barney. get to advise clubs here at ANSA and uh, to see the kids in a light different from the one you see in your academic classroom, to get to know them, um, and afternoons and weekends, and uh, to see a side that sometimes doesn't get to shine. I have um, been honored to serve as the advisor for two clubs that take up a lot of my time and a huge part of my heart at ANSA. I'm going to miss my seniors tremendously. I would like to recognize our seniors who stay in the acapella club. These kids are leaders. I, I feel like I get credit for the acapella club, and I do almost nothing. Don't tell them The kids do their own arrangements. They pick their songs. They run the rehearsals. They run the auditions. They choreograph. They make arrangements to go to competition. They, they do all everything and um, the three seniors who are members this year have been people I've come to just rely on tremendously for their organization, their leadership, their musicianship to watch them grow in their musical skills, they're talented beyond belief um, so I just want to have Stan recognize uh, Matt Akasha, Alanda Evans and Rachel Bowen who's not here. As the trash king in Quiz Bowl, we have history and fine arts and science and literature and then all the other stuff like movies and TV and video games and random pop culture knowledge and no one wraps up the trash category like our own Matt and Rooney. <laughs> Thank you. 
what the students are supposed to be doing. They keep check of the timeline and everything. They have done an amazing job at that. Um, the next one is uh, CS Gens, which Mr. Guru has been my sidekick on that one. Uh, and uh, they, the, this is for the middle school boys that they go through the same kind of program with activation, except for the part that the patient is only about parents that answer. Um, the, the people that I want to recognize for this one is Chad Denson, Kobe Ryan. I would like to recognize Manny Greenman, Sahana Surai, Yes, Kavya Vishwanathan. Last but not least, the Bob Ball Club is led by Vinny Arun Vinny Thibas this year. They have challenges to pick up the Bob Ball guy and they have points associated with it which we have participated for the last five, six years. Thank you very much. Welcome to the podium, Mr. Mark Bible, to speak about the tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. Here's the tomorrow this year was about close to 100 students who participated. And if we add up all the hours of community service that they provided, I'm sure it will be um, close to 1,000 hours of community service. Can I know all the seniors who are in the leaders of tomorrow stand up, please? We're here. Yeah. 
you all well. Thanks. <laughs> We will now have Sarah Preston from Spanish Honor Society. Hello everyone, congratulations to all the seniors. And tonight in particular, I'd like to recognize the senior members of the Spanish Honor Society. So the members, please stand. To be in the Spanish Honor Society, students need to have at least a 3-5 on weighted GPA, and they complete at least 15 hours of community service, half of which are related to Latino causes. And I'd like to also give special recognition to officers, uh, Secretary Christy Cavalcanti, <laughs> Vice President Alex Moran, and President and Co-Founder Daniel Hoffman. And I also, oh, I see over there, there you are. <laughs> I also would like to recognize Maddie Greenman. Maddie uh, really went above and beyond with her community service hours and uh, tutored a student in Spanish and was able to skip a level of Spanish in uh, great part because of Maddie, so. Uh, I am so honored to have been able to work with such a wonderful group of students, and I miss you all very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we'll now hear from Katie Dreyer, uh, the Director of uh, Counseling for Members in, or Mentors in Violence Prevention. I believe I have at least one student representative here as well. Yeah, she's going to join. Is it in here? Okay. Uh, so, Mentors and Violence Prevention is in its inaugural year this year. Uh, it's a student organization focused on advocating against gender violence. And these students have had um, interesting and intense conversations about gender, privilege, consent, and sexual violence. Um, I think their crowning achievement is teaching not one, but two lessons to all of our 10th grade health classes this year. One on characteristics of healthy and unhealthy relationships, and a second lesson on consent. Uh, so we're just going to talk a little bit about our seniors, and then I will go through it. Um, our seniors this year in this new club were amazing leaders, um, amazing mentors, and amazing teachers for me. Um, in meetings where we discuss some very timely topics in our society, uh, they made me feel very safe to open up and discuss some of these challenging topics. Um, all of them are so fearless. They're always, none of them are afraid to speak their minds, which gave me so much confidence to begin to tackle topics like sexual assault and rape in our society. Um, each one of them is completely selfless. All of them have a heart of gold, and I know that for sure, each one of them is going to somehow change this world, so remember their names because they do speak a lot more. I don't want to say it better than we do anyway. So tonight we have Arthur Gopalan, Asha Ramachandran, Gabrielle Duke, you can stand up first. Jack Benson, John Williams, Matthew Collin, Ben Marcus, Mary Chabot, Rose Bishop, Samantha Jondo, Zachary Julia, Isabella Vera, Soleil Kelly, and Ray Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, we will now hear from Christine Crocker for Drama Society. Thank you. I'm only as a faculty advisor for the 
Young Society for five years now. It's been around much longer than that. Um, and every year, we see some pretty incredible singers, dancers, actors, painters um, graduate from this school. This year has been no different. This year's seniors are a great group of friends. Some of them have been society for only one year, and some have been with us since they were sixth graders. Regardless of how much time any individual senior has spent with us, it is clear the bonds that they form and share with each other are going to last a lifetime. We've had many fun and exciting adventures over the years. We went into the woods and out of the woods and home before dark. We sailed the great seas with the Argonauts. And most recently, we tumbled down the rabbit hole and explored Wonderland. Our adventures will finally come to a close tomorrow night and our group of seniors will perform a senior showcase about performing a senior showcase. <laughs> and somewhere down the line, learn the importance of supporting one another through adversity. On behalf of the Drum Society, it should be said that watching these seniors uh, leave will be bittersweet. Though our time working with you has come to an end, we know you will go on to do incredible things. The memories we share will remain with all of us, no matter how far you go. So I'd like to recognize Rachel Bowen, Phoebe Cox, Alenda Evans, Catherine Fisher, Sarah Fisher, Stephen Greenberg, and Kimberly Ann Lang. Now, it's, my, uh, it's a great pleasure to introduce our interim executive director and executive director, uh, Ms. Ellen Lindsay and Dr. Lewis, to recognize UNICEF. What a privilege it was to um, work with our UNICEF students this year. It's, it's really been um, a, a wonderful opportunity for us. Um, and so UNICEF is a volunteer-driven club whose primary purchase, uh, purpose is to engage in fundraising activities to help children all over the world in 190 different countries. Um, and our students did such a great job. They, they put so much energy into planning different uh, fundraising activities. And in particular this year, um, one of the most successful ones was the UNICEF Annual International Women's Day Conference this past March. They did a fantastic job. Um, we would in particular like to recognize um, our co-presidents, who I will miss um, more than I can possibly say, um, co-president Marthy Gopalan and co-president Mega Barbies. Can I get Mr. 
Mr. Hoagley and Mr. Uh, where are you at? Go ahead. There you are. And then Greg. <laughs> <laughs> These two started something by making fun of a fellow teacher. And uh, so I got out of class and uh, said that I was coaching something for that, but I didn't miss this any of stuff. So the following year, I had them choose two other people, which can make those two to stand up. Who then started a curling club because they said they'd gotten out of class to go to curling, so I signed them up to do curling. <laughs> From there, we had a girls' team that we needed to get. And I had the first year girls' team stand up. Now, unfortunately, due to some circumstances, I have not been able to fully be a part of curling this year, which is why Mr. Cruz up here for this year. Oh, what an experience it was. <laughs> so I lived in Newton, and when the students told me that I was to bring them to Newton, I realized something. I would be driving to work in the morning from Newton, driving to Newton, being less than two miles from my house, Stay until 6 o'clock at Curling, drive back to Ansa, and then drive back to New York. <laughs> Why? Because I'm, I'm a fool. <laughs> but something I learned is that, you know, and I can have the rest of the curlers stand up, so if I could have it. Uh, and, uh, and here, here's it. Uh, I realized that you can do great things when you have a team that is really passionate about something. Um, that has the voice to yell at each other, except for one, Greg. Greg. And I realized that with the students working together to make something that started as a joke and that they, they realized that it's something that they truly love, I really saw what was great about it, so that students are able to uh, students are able to go after their passions here. And to be a part of that uh, was an amazing experience, and I'll never forget our Shake Shack adventure. Thank you, David, for making this <laughs> And, and uh, sharing pizza for one last time uh, at Frank Pepe's. All right, so guys, I just want to say thank you so much for making me a part of this experience. It was phenomenal, and I just wish you the best. Now I'd like to invite uh, Chris Jelski to the stage to recognize the particular singer for fencing. Speaking of obscure sports, the ASA has. We have fencing, which happens, fun fact, to be the oldest and first sport that the ASA ever picked up. So, fencing started in year two, and the ASA has been here before. Um, and this year we have one senior joining us, it's Eli. Do you want to hear it? Getting them started, showing them the ropes, teaching them, instructing them. Um, and so, well, I missed the first email around to make sure I was up here. When I found out I needed to get here, so I'll send this thing to Drew. Let me see. Um, but Eli, thank you, because you helped grow the program. We had a change of coaches, and the program shrunk again, and you brought it back because you made it super fun for a lot of kids. So, good job, Eli. Well,
Uh, can I, first of all, have the, if you could look around at all the tables, uh, some of the amazing things. Uh, can I have the, the cops and seniors just stand up, please? Um, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at some of the tables, I don't know how long we'll be around after this is over tonight. Uh, if you have a chance to talk to some of these amazing people, um, and adults, about what they've done, it's blown my mind. Ever since uh, this journey of the Capstone Project began, it's been a rough journey. Um, the, the things they've produced, the, the passions, the interests, the um, the, the, the things they've come up with is just amazing. It's mind blowing. The, the Capstone Project was designed initially to be a reflection of their, their growth. And so, seniors' growth as a person, as a citizen, uh, as a student, throughout their Amso journey. It's, uh, I truly believe it's the future of education. It's what a lot of top tier high schools, colleges are looking for. I'd like to congratulate uh, each, each one of them uh, who stood up and who um, had the guts and the courage to, to seek and, and after one of their interests or passions or uh, things they may never be going into or doing again. But it, it was just amazing to talk to them all. You guys have set yourself apart by continuing to pursue an interest or a passion uh, along the way, despite all the curves in the road that brought us to this point uh, this year, you've gone really above and beyond. Speaking with you all about these projects, even the ones that some of you have talked to me about that never got completed, they proved to me a couple things. There are so many causes, there are so many services, interests, experiences, and some graduates have to offer the world far beyond what traditional high school curriculum uh, and expectations tell us. Um, if, you, if you didn't get a chance to, to look at these things, we have Nancy Graduate who published a book. Uh, we've got another one who's the Secretary of Massachusetts Junior Class of the League, who's, uh, who's been uh, publishing uh, periodicals for that, of, of, of literature. Uh, we've got students writing, filming, producing movies, and editing. We had one who set up to design a 3D combustion engine and print it using reinforced plastics, but when he couldn't do that, uh, he decided to design and build his own 3D printer uh, using parts, if I understand this correctly, that he made with that 3D printer that he was building. Um, amazing. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, people researching and teaching about chronic inflammation of the heart, a subject near and dear to me, neuroscience, particle physics, uh, art galleries, programs that focus on student leadership and, and race relations and concerns, uh, tutoring, math club, UNICEF, you've heard about these, uh, recording an EP, um, and you're going to hear a couple uh, songs from them in just a minute. So those who completed the Capstone Project, uh, you will be receiving a special cord at graduation. I'm so proud of each one of you. I just want to humbly thank you all, your example, uh, sets a precedent for the future of this program and really the future of AMSA. That's what the capstone is all about. So thank everyone of you. And it is now my pleasure to introduce uh, the last suede who's going to be playing a couple songs for us. This was a senior Mike Woods uh, Capstone Project. <laughs> Leave my daughter alone. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Check, check. songs uh, that we worked months and uh, years on and it came out really nice. Um, there was that back table over there if you're interested. Um, so yeah, we wanted to play a couple songs for you tonight. Uh, one of them is a cover and one of them is off of our EP. So to start it off, we're going to play a cover. It's different from the program. Um, it's Highway Tune by Grid Event Fleet. Um, I hope you guys like it.
this next song is off our EP. It's called 495. Does that sound all right to you guys? Ball <laughs> Well, you want to hear Freebird?
is somebody that the younger kids and the inexperienced kids look to, and I rely on him tremendously. I'm so honored to present the course of work to Matt Makashi. Jules! <laughs> 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 
All right, the second person I have to call up. Definitely took over for Mr. Joe on the left. Uh, this person made a difference in class, in my other classes, in my after school programs, helping other teachers, and making sure to all this time find a way to try to make pizza in his senior project. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the pizza party, sir. Uh, Mr. Greg Malone. because it is the foundation for all else 
and our classes function through the discussion powered by critical thinking. The senior honored tonight by the English department, one of the seniors, has great intellectual curiosity, which not surprisingly has manifested itself in hard work, commitment, and a resulting grade of A in my Gothic literature course, as an aside, which is very hard to get. He has guided his peers to understanding by consistently leading with his voice, unafraid to take on an idea, no matter how enigmatic or daunting. He has also shown a budding mastery of analysis in written form, and in his essays never failed to intrigue as well as inform and blame. We are pleased to honor one of our brightest lights of the class of 2019, Avi This is on behalf of Mrs. Ferguson and I in some parts. My introduction to this young woman was her impressive recitation of, sorry, recitation of Hamlet's soliloquy one day when I visited her freshman English class. I ended up subbing that class for several weeks while her teacher was out on maternity leave, and she continued to impress me as an enthusiastic reader and writer committed to fiction and poetry for its own sake. I was thrilled to see her once again this year in our very tiny AP class. Not only has she shown love for the subject matter by leading discussions and making connections to a broad range of topics, but she has also shown unwavering respect and support for others' ideas and in, uh, in work in our class. She is a truly engaged individual who brings a tireless critical sensibility to her own and others' work, not to mention the occasional snack to share in the cafe. Even after a skiing accident and debilitating wrist injury slowed her in class rates to a painful crawl, she powered through with her usual thumb and a little encouragement from our class mascot, John her commonly analytical and reflective character and consistent good humor enrich our school and the lives of her teachers and peers, and I'm sure she will continue to make a contribution to the arts and human understanding wherever she goes. I too have witnessed this student's intellectual curiosity for English. She was one of the only students to come after every paper and ask what she could do better, how she could be a better writer, a better thinker. On behalf of the English faculty, I am pleased to present Amy Rose with the excellent oh.
to recognize as someone who has shown excellence not just in history but the other disciplines within social science. She's been an excellent student in AP macroeconomics. She's an absolute joy in AP government where her passion for American politics and civic engagement is second to none. She is someone who took the assignment of watching Meet the Press, a chore for many, um, but something that she uh, was excited to talk to us about. She was there after school. And also one of the things I really appreciate is in a world where we have a tendency to lock into our opinions and not be willing to listen to other sides. She was always willing to listen to other opinions, always considering what other um, ways of approaching uh, solutions and problems in society, and always open to opinions different from her own. We would like to recognize excellence in history to our people Paul. Um, and the world needs you to do that. 
And you can't do that unless you're happy and healthy and take care of yourself. Uh, so, um, when we teach as a department, we feel like our goal is to give you guys the best PE experience we can, because we know that when we do that, uh, you'll be that much more likely to exercise and take care of yourself uh, as adults. Um, so, uh, when we get together to think about what this award means to us, uh, we conclude that the recipients of this award should possess a variety of qualities, such as, I'm going on script here, such as leadership in a classroom, a demonstration of Amsterdam's core values. But most importantly, we decide that the most prevalent characteristic is making others feel appreciated and respected in the classroom. So, <laughs> With a sports award, you know everyone you know, on your team wants to be there, but if it's that, believe it or not, sometimes people don't want to be there. Um, but when you go out of your way to uh, you know, be kind to someone, to include them, to do something to give them a better experience, even if they're not the type of person that wants to be there, um, you've made an impact on them and hopefully made them more likely to take care of their health as adults. Um, so, uh, students that we chose for this award are eager to make our class a place where everyone is given a chance to succeed and feel confident while participating. In a way, the students we're choosing really uh, are allies to this for what we're trying to do. So, uh, they are two students who feel the need to make physical education an enjoyable place where everyone can learn about different activities and to do it with pleasure. I'm gonna, I guess, call you guys both at the same time. Um, I'd like to, on behalf of the PE department, give this award to Nathan Lee and Maddie Brennan. Thank you. 
says that you can have students, you know, in the same grade that are on complete opposite sections of the music, you know, we have rock and roll, and we have beautiful classical, you know, we have all of them. So, so uh, the next uh, person I'd like to introduce is Dr. Honors, who is to present the National Merit Scholars. Hello, everyone. Before I begin, uh, I'd like to present a new award. The Award for Excellence in Bach. <laughs> Eli. Uh, as you can see, that the National uh, Merit Scholarship is a very prestigious uh, scholarship. These students uh, were among 16,000 semifinalists named in September. And they proceeded to meet all the requirements to advance to finals standing in the competition by demonstrating distinguished performance and high potential for future academic accomplishment. Each year, only about 3% of the 1.5 million National Merit Scholarship entrants become finalists. And this year's finalists from AMSA are Jack Denson and Paulina Sorokova.
Congratulations, Mayor Murphy. Of the work. 
His jazz band director, Mr. Harlow, describes him as someone who approaches new challenges with intelligent focus, and that he is someone that other band members can look to as a paragon of kindness and diligence. I can speak to this personally because my daughter has played in the jazz band with him for four years, and she has always admired his hard work. I asked her to describe how he plays, and she said there's just an elegance about it, which I, I agree with. I'm honored to present a second 2019 scholarship to Eli Rapid. Rotary Club and any board and else. 
The Anna Scholarship Committee is pleased to award this scholarship to a student interested in studying business. He is an excellent Anna citizen, a kind, caring, and always willing to help out a fellow student or teacher. This $1,000 scholarship is awarded to Michael Mason. Now he's been a friend of ours for 
for three years. And uh, there isn't a event that we have that um, the backbone of the whole thing is in Lynn. So I, I would be forever grateful for all your commitment to NAMSA and to making all of these events so wonderful. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Dr. Lewis and Ms. Driver for sharing some of their thoughts with me about this year's recipient of the Eagle Award. Thank you both. Um, so it's my pleasure and honor to have the opportunity to present the Eagle Award this evening. The Eagle Award is Kansas' highest honor. It is presented each year to the senior who has demonstrated commitment to the betterment of the school community through leadership, school spirit, or selfless, selfless service, in their academic or social life, as well as living Amster's core values. Ah. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Integrity, excellence, and community. There you go. Um, and before I announce this year's recipients, I'd just like to say um, a few words.
Thank <laughs> you.